Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday once again. Um, it's been a crazy week. Why is it that the weeks when we have like a holiday on a Monday, that week seems like crazy? Does it seem like that to you guys? I know when I was teaching, it was definitely like that too. And I think because I did my BOGO sale this week in the middle of all that, that's why it was crazy. <laughs> but it's Friday. Yay. I'm so glad. And I cannot wait to show you guys what we are doing today. Um, curved occasions. This may be my favorite stamp set in the whole catalog. It's not ho holiday. It's not Christmas. It's not Halloween. It's not fall. But it's cute little images that I can color with my stamp and blends and you guys know that's all it takes all I want and then there's a really cool punch so we're gonna use these we're gonna use um, the bundle it comes as a bundle you know when you say when you buy at the bundle you save 10% of course you can buy them separately if you don't want both but when you buy them together you save 10% so we're gonna do that but before we do that I've got some things to show you first off I want to point out this right here Thank you everyone who shopped my BOGO sale this week. Unfortunately, I still have a ton of stuff left. I think I'm gonna um, put some bundle things together and maybe list them in my store later. Um, retired product for me is unusable because I have to use current product. So it builds up really quickly. Not that I don't love that product, but I just, you know, run out of room. So I have to have, <laughs> I have to have only current product. Um, so uh, that's why I do BOGO, giving it away for free. I don't mind at all. I would much rather give it away to you guys for free and let you enjoy it. Um, but anyway, those of you who ordered from me this week, you're, if you have placed your order and paid your shipping, yours is gonna go in my car this afternoon, hopefully, and go to the post office. I have, I have a postal issue here. Um, I am working with UPS um, to hopefully do some shipping with them. But as of right now, I'm still with the postal service. And um, because I'm in a rural area, I don't have the pickup anymore. And I have a guy who delivers our mail here, but he drives his personal car and it's not even big enough for my stuff. He can't, he can't take my stuff, even if he would. Um, so I have to take it all to the post office. Well, on top of that, in front of our post office right now is this massive construction project. And it's like the worst intersection in all of the area. You wanna avoid it at all costs. So I'm gonna try to get over there today. If not, it'll go tomorrow morning. Um, I have to go and take it and drop it myself. Um, but just know that it's coming. If for some reason, you filled out the BOGO form and you never heard from me, then that means something happened with your email um, because I have emailed every single person. And if I haven't heard from you, I've emailed you two or three times um, trying to, because I want to give you guys the stuff that you picked out. Um, so if you think that I haven't messaged you, emailed you, please email me. I've gotten an Two emails today from two people that said they never heard from me. If that's you, I emailed you back. Hopefully, you're receiving my emails. For whatever reason, about 10% of the emails I send out as a whole don't arrive. They either go to spam or they're blocked. Um, I think a lot of times it has to do with links, if I include a link in an email. Um, so just know that I do not ignore you. I am trying to reach you. <laughs> um, and I can't. So even if um, you don't hear through me from me through email, you could always try messaging me on Facebook. I don't use Facebook Messenger for business at all. Only if, in only this case, like if emails are not going through, that would be the only reason I would use it. So in general, don't Facebook message me, send me an email. <laughs> but if you think that I should be emailing and you're not getting them, then we can do Facebook Messenger, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around because I have some new things to show you and I wanna show you the next Club Create kit, which I did not update the Club Create um, package or uh, page today. Today is the eighth, right? It's the new, um, we've turned the, the, the calendar to the next Club Create subscription period. Let me um, open my iPad real quick. Oh, come on. 
and make sure I've got you guys so I can see your comments. Okay. Hello, everybody. If you have Google, it may end up on a shopping tab at the top. I don't know what that means, Trisha. Hmm. I don't know. I've had somebody look at my email, a tech person, and we don't know why that's happening. We can't figure it out. Okay, let me turn it around. Sometimes your email can get like on a list, you know, like, oh, this person is spam. But apparently I was not on that list, so I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my email. Okay, so Club Create subscription period today from September 8th to October 7th is for October's Club Create kit. Now, <laughs> of course, everything I'm using in October right now is unorderable. So fingers crossed when we get to October, we won't have a problem. So I just want to put out a caveat for this month. Club Create for October might be a little bit different than what you see here. Depending, I know that the ribbon may not be here in time, so we might have to switch out ribbon, but the paper really is what we really need. So hopefully we will get the paper. Uh, but anyway, Club Create is my subscription program. Um, it's $45 a month. That includes, you get about $20 of product. Um, I'm hoping to get everybody a pack of this paper in October, um, depending on what um, supply issues look like. Um, you'll get ribbon, embellishments, um, you get five projects, and that includes shipping. Um, you get a video, usually about a half hour video tutorial, and the PDF, and that includes shipping. And then if you stay for six months, if you subscribe for six months in a row, I give you a $25 product credit. I have 62 people claiming their $25 product credit this month. That's amazing. So if you stay for six months, I reward you with $25 of product of your choice. So for October, and if you go over to look at my Club Create page right now, it's not updated. It still has the September kit. That time is closed and gone. It'll be this. I'll update it later today or tomorrow. Um, but if you subscribe now, our next kit will feature the beautiful autumn leaves, asterisk, as long as everything stays in stocks or, or comes back in stock. Um, I love, 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 love all of these products. And so it'll be four cards in October and an adorable mini album that I think would make a cute little placeholder for Thanksgiving. Like you could put it on each person's plate and you could either um, fill it in as a, you know, like for each person, like what you're thankful for about them or leave it open for them to fill in themselves. So little mini album um, and, and four cards. So this subscription period is from now until so, uh, October 7th, that's the cutoff. If you're already a Club Create subscriber, you don't have to do anything. Your subscription will carry over until you cancel it. And if you want to subscribe, remember you can cancel at any time. You're not locked into anything. Okay, so that is that. Um, my Halloween class to go is the Bag of Bones. Now, this guy, this bundle has been unorderable um, for a while, but it will be back in stock next week. So those of you who are waiting on this, it will be back in stock next week. So if you've already registered for my class, you better believe I will be ordering your bundle ASAP. I will be stocking that website and I will get it for you as soon as it comes back. But this class to go has um, five 3D projects and a card. Um, you're going to get some paper, some embellishments, some ribbon. Um, it, this one does not have a video. It's just a PDF tutorial. Um, but when it comes, I'll have things scored. And the only thing you'll need are the stamps and dies. So you can get the class with the stamps and dies or without the stamps and dies. Um, this is open until September 22nd. So we have a while on this one. It'll be here before we know it. Um, details on this, you guys, are on my blog. Did my blog post go up? Has anybody checked? Hopefully you have checked. Um, okay, so that is the Halloween class. Um, I still have a few of these paper pumpkin kits if you're looking for this month's paper pumpkin. If for some reason your payment didn't go through and you didn't get your kit, let me know, I have a few extras. Um, 
the All Star Class, All Star Video Class Tutorial Bundle this month is Zoo Crew. I'm going to send this out this weekend to everyone who has already ordered in September. I had a lot of people order this week, so if you spent more than fifty dollars um, in my Bogo cell, you will get this. I will email it to you. It's twelve video tutorials, all featuring the Zoo Crew suite of products. Um, and each one is designed by a different Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You can also buy this in my PDF store for $15. If you, maybe you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you didn't shop with me, you can always buy it for $15. They're videos, by the way. They have QR codes and links where you click and watch the video. And then, of course, there's measurements in um, metric and imperial. All right, now let's get to the stuff I really want to show you. Um, Lisa, I don't know anything about the next paper pumpkin. Wait, wait, what is the next paper pumpkin? I know that they've told us. So you're probably talking about the October paper pumpkin, right? I can't, no, I don't know. No, I don't know anything ahead of time, but I can't remember what September's paper pumpkin is. Somebody knows, somebody will tell us. Um, but October, I don't know. Okay, so we have some new products. Of course, you guys, this catalog has gone live. There are a handful of things that are unorderable. Look, you guys, I've heard some comments about Stampin' Up's inventory. And just know that things being out of stock is not an unusual phenomenon solely to Stampin' Up. This is, out of stock is everywhere. Everywhere I try to order anything, things are out of stock. This is inventory management. And Stampin' Up! is doing the responsible thing and trying to manage their inventory appropriately. Um, the worst thing a company can do is end up with a ton of product at the end left over and have to throw it away. And that has happened in the past. And that's very wasteful. One, financially. Two, for the environment. So they are constantly working on their inventory management. And that's why things have sold out. But they're not gone for good. They're coming. They're going to fill their stock again. I, for one, am happy to know that, that this company that I represent is managing their inventory financially, fiscally responsibly. So that's why things are out of stock. They'll be back. Don't worry. You know, it's not like it's medicine or something <laughs> that you can't live without. It'll be back. Don't worry. Um, but there are a handful of things. There are some embellishments, um, some paper, some ribbon. Um, but I would say less than 10%, easy, less than 10% of our products are unorderable. We have hundreds of products still available, okay? So this whole catalog is new, live, um, ready for you to shop. Um, one thing I do want to stress, though, that Stampin' Up! told us, they are, you know, really working on managing their inventory responsibly, which means we could see more things go unorderable because they don't want to have excess inventory, right? So if you see something, you know, like I would make my wish list and I would prioritize my wish list. Um, you know, if the, um, I don't know, Mary's Trees, is a must have. I'm gonna put that at the top of my list and make sure that's one of the very first things I order. Because if you wait, you know, until November and then it's unordable, then you're gonna be mad. So I would really sit down, make your wish list, and prioritize it and put those most important things at the top of your list and make sure those are the things you order first. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> about inventory. Um, we have a new bundle, which I didn't even know was coming out. It's part of uh, World Card Making Day, I believe. You guys have to forgive me. My brain is mush after the BOGO sale. It takes a lot of brain power to manage that BOGO sale. So I didn't fully read all the details in the announcements this week. But we have this new bundle. Look at this punch. It's really cool. I love it. We love punches, man. Punches always sell out. Um, so I would put this high on my list. And this is so cute. Heartfelt hexagon. Um, I think this would be great for 3D projects for sure. Just making um, tags, you know, like um, treat tags and simple cards. So look for that on the website. It's not in the catalog, it's in the website. It, I think maybe, somebody correct me, maybe it's gonna be in, um, it's gonna be in the spring catalog. That's usually how they do that. Um, yeah, Jane, even Amazon has things I can't get. Yeah, and you know, my kids, we go through this a lot. You guys, if you don't have teenagers who are into shoes, like athletic shoes, then you don't know the kind of crazy ordering there is around athletic shoes. There is a website called Goat. 
where you have to get on and buy shoes that are priced differently depending on the size that you buy. And then you have to, like, they have to get, it is insanity. So just know, <laughs> this is small potatoes compared to some things that are going on out there. Um, but anyway, this is, this is that. This is that. I love it. Super cute. Um, okay, let's talk about the paper. This is what I was really excited about. Stampin' Up! told us um, they had decided to only do one celebration a year. Remember, for a couple of years, we did celebration in the fall. Well, they decided to only do the one in... I guess maybe it was the summer. I don't know. Anyway, they're just doing the one in January or February. But they had already designed some products for that summer fall celebration that they decided ended up not doing. So, but they had all these products and they were like, let's just do an online release. So now, and I love pattern paper. I always say pattern paper is my drug of choice because I love it. Um, so this is what we have and these are only available online if you go to the top of stampin up's website and click on like um what's new i can't remember there's some things at the top what's new or even just navigate over to paper you'll find these um, i don't know the names yet traditions of saint nick so this will go beautifully oh look how cute i haven't even looked at these this will go beautifully with our St. Nick stamp set bundle. I can't remember what it's called. Look at that, it's like tall, very classic and classy and kind of um, antique -y almost. So cute. Oh, this, and you know that St. Nick bundle wasn't really at the top of my list, but now that I have this adorable paper that goes with it, I probably will feel differently about it. All right, now this is paper that is not holiday. It goes with the translucent bun, uh, translucent flowers bundle. Um, it is in the holiday catalog. I call it the holiday catalog out of habit. It's not just holiday products. It's really the September to December mini catalog. That's what it's supposed to be called. There are a lot of non-holiday things in there, but this is really pretty. I love when we have paper that coordinates um with our stamps and dies yeah kimberly me too i love salmon up paper very pretty and when we are sick of christmas come about late <laughs> november early december we'll have all this new like flowery springy paper to get us out of those winter christmas monotonous doldrums all right and then this hold on let me uh get a drink very thirsty. Okay, I need to I need to step it up because I'm taking a long time. Um, okay, this is called Tartan Foil. I thought it said Tahitian Foil, but no, Tartan. And it's foily paper. It's got a little bit of shine to it. These, of course, are going to be while supplies last because they obviously just ordered a certain amount. And then when they're gone, they're gone. That's beautiful. Six sheets in that one. Um, this one is called Shining Christmas. I have a feeling this one is going to be some shimmery too. Oh yes, so cute. Can you guys see the shine, the shimmer? Yes, Lisa, tartan equals plaid, you're right. Tartan, very Scottish. All right, so these are shimmery on ones, not shimmery, um, shiny, I guess that would be the word there's some metallic elements in it i love basic christmas patterns and traditional red and green this looks like cherry cobbler and old olive very traditional christmas colors oh polka dots can't get enough of polka dots this is really cute i wish you guys could see this in person it's sparkly oh my god so cute so cute all right and then last but not least is silver and gold adhesive backed glimmer paper now we have had glimmer paper in the past but i don't remember if we had an adhesive backed glimmer paper boy that is awesome because sometimes that stuff is hard to stick down look ooh, that's really cool really really cool okay so that's that i just want to make sure you guys are aware of what's new online Stampin' Up! is going to be carrying more and more things exclusively online. They're not getting rid of the catalog at all. I don't mean to um, insinuate that. But 
there are going to be things that are more online exclusive things. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so make sure you always check out the website. There's a new Christmas kit as well, and I did not order it, but you can see it in our kits. We're adding a, about a kit a month, and they're awesome. So just so that you know. Okay, I am done with all the things. So let's get to it. If you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. This week we are making three projects with a Curved Occasions stamp set and punch. If you like these projects, I give them away for free as a little class kit um, to anybody who spends $35 or more at stampinup.com with me. I have a host code that you use, you apply that and it'll automatically give me the credit for your order. And then on Tuesday, I cut a kit for each of you that have ordered between now and then, and I mail it to you for free on Wednesday. And this is what they look like. Um, you will need, um, this week you will need the stamps and the punch. I am also using a mask that you can use whatever you have or just skip it, really, you don't even need it. You don't have to have it. Um, and one embossing folder. I do everything. I do die cutting, scoring, punching, but I do not emboss. I just don't. It takes too long. Um, but you can, again, use whatever you have. So you'll get everything you need. I don't do any stamping. You'll need the stamps. If you don't have the stamps, this one, really easily, you could substitute any stamp set that you want. So just so that you know, you have until Monday at midnight. Um, there is a free PDF at stamp, uh, <laughs> I almost gave the wrong website, pinkbuckaroo.com. And I asked the question if it was up and then I didn't wait for the answer. Do, 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 do. Hopefully somebody answered me. Um, I got it all scheduled and it should have been, should have been ready and up. Um, if not, I will fix it. Um, Kathy from cool Minnesota, you know, Kathy, it's not nice to brag. I'm coming to you from the surface of the sun, San Antonio, where it is going to be 105 today. Do you guys know I have a little weather statistic for you down here? We've had the hottest summer ever. We are, our last record for over 100 days was, um, I believe, 56. We are now at like 70. And days of 105 or more, we are now at 17. The previous record was four. So we have had a horrible, horrible hot summer. I'm not just complaining. It really was super ridiculously hot. <laughs> we decided to move in the hottest summer ever. So I'm jealous. I'm also jealous my husband just arrived in Colorado where I'm sh he's up in the mountains and I'm sure it's beautiful. So I don't make me cry. I don't wanna know how not. No, Karen, no, do not brag. You people are just making me sad. Don't brag. You know, in the, in the winter when you're buried in snow, I will tell you that it is a beautiful sunny 65 here, okay? You just wait. <laughs> Tina, you have no idea. Brand new house, much bigger. Our electric bill came this week and we cried. It was awful. So yeah, we gotta make some changes. Okay, anyway, here's that PDF. Prizes, I have two prizes from these people. I picked one from Facebook, one from YouTube. Amy Mar, Amy, I have a box I'm getting ready to send you. I'm gonna try to find this in there. And Pam Broussard, Pam, I don't think I my video on Facebook and on YouTube. It does help me find new customers and I greatly appreciate that. Um, this week I'm going to be giving away the Timeless Charm Bundle. This is an online exclusive that is in low inventory. So if you want it, share the video. Let me know in the comments that you shared and I will pick a winner next week. Okay, we are ready to go. Let me see. Of course, why do I always put the first project's tray on the bottom. And then I have to dig it out. Now, tell me on here. Yeah, Karen, I would think so. Hottest summer across the United States. I know a lot of people have been really, really hot. It's pretty bad. Tell me, um, Brandy, sucks for those of us who finally had a pool to use. Wait, Brandy, yours was cool. Stop, it was? I thought everywhere was hot. We have a pool being put in right now, so you know what that means. As soon as it's done, we're gonna have the coldest winter ever. <laughs> it's gonna be awful. Um, tell me if you ordered the curved occasions. Also tell me if you didn't even notice it, because it really is on the last, like the last page. Um, you know, at the back we have the bundles, 
and everything organized, you know, like it repeats everything. So this is really the very last page, page 64. So cute. Um, I, we're gonna case this card today. Case means to copy and share everything, basically copy. Um, I'm gonna put my spin on it, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make that. Um, but it is on page 64 if you are looking for it. And if you haven't ordered it yet, do you want it? Do you think it's cute? Let me show you my swap card. This is a swap card I made for our leadership event in Vegas two weeks ago. And this is the first card we're gonna make. Um, when I got my pre-order, you know, demonstrators get to pre-order from the catalog. It's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. You get to order early. Um, when I got my box, this was the very first stamp set I opened. And this was the very first stamp that I inked up because I absolutely adore it. Um, little roller skates. I'm sure many of you had some cute roller skates when you were a kid. I don't remember what my roller skates looked like. I don't think they were this cute. For some reason, I feel like maybe they were just boring white or tan or something. The ones at the roller rink, you know, they're like tan with an orange, um, I wanna call it an eraser, an orange brake in the front, you know, a little rubber brake. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it in Memento and we're gonna color it in um, three different colors. We're gonna use Melon Mambo. Um, Lisa, you haven't ordered anything yet, but that one did not speak to me. I will change your mind today, okay? And Cynthia, see, and Patricia, see, I knew people were gonna ignore the stamp set. It's not positioned, you know, at, once you get to the back of the catalog, your brain is like, spinning right because you've seen so many amazing things you i feel like at some point your brain stops processing <laughs> what you've seen in the catalog um and i have a feeling that this is probably one of those where you're just like oh my gosh this was an awesome catalog and now i can't think straight um okay so melon mambo highland heather um this one will be another good one you know for all year round it's an all occasions has some great sentiments um again when we get to the end of november early december and we're sick of christmas stuff this will be one that we pull out to kind of cleanse our palette of i can't find my dark bubble bath here it is cleanse our palette of all the christmas things um okay and then we're going to do this right here in bubble bath so Melon Mambo, Highland Heather, Bubble Bath. And I did dark, all the darks. And I think maybe over here I did the lights. Either way, it works, whatever. All right, I'm gonna take um, my Smoky Slate and color in the little metal piece, you know, that's underneath the shoe part that holds the wheels. I have a lot of good roller skating memories from when I was a kid. The Skate Ranch, that's what it was called. It's still there. It's been there for like 100 years, it feels like. And we had some good times. I even remember in fifth grade, we went on a field trip at the end of fifth grade. Our whole class, all the fifth grade classes got to go to the Skate Ranch during the school day. It was a big deal. I, I love skating. I could, you know, and that's pretty good exercise. I wish it was still like, cool i mean i guess it is cool but not like it was when we were in the 80s all right go around with your paper snips then rollerblading remember rollerblading took over after the roller skating uh you know linda i can't remember my kids have roller skated i think my middle daughter i think we had her birthday if i remember correctly you know it all blends together especially when you have three girls we had her one of her birthday parties there maybe like fourth or fifth grade and she's now 16 so would that be like eight years ago maybe I would love to just go skate remember man you would just go around and just feel the wind whipping in your hair and the good music <laughs> they should have like a grown-ups night like come listen to your favorite music from the 80s maybe they do okay so I've fussy cut those I'm gonna take um my sentiment this is a nested shape banner basic white stamp that and then um we will grab some dimensionals 
and put these little bad boys on here. Now, did you see my card yesterday? I did another roller skate card yesterday um, that was more masculine colors. And the way that I come up with these colors, you guys, is I just Google retro color palette. That's it. Um, and then you'll see some something will grab your eye. It'll stand out to you. And uh, then just pull out your ink pads and your cardstock that match the closest. And then you've got a fun color palette. Now, to make this little striped piece, I've got a um, two by five and a half inch piece of basic white. And then I've got some half inch strips. And we're just going to layer these strips down. Um, I make the strips longer just so that I can cut them straight on the edge. Because if I cut them... If I cut them, um, you know, like, okay, so it's two inches. If I cut them two inches, inevitably half of them will be too short. So I might as well just cut them long and then snip them off. All right, so Highland Heather, Bubble Bath, Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, and then we start the pattern over again. I think the strip on my um, card is actually an inch and a half, so this one's a little bit bigger. But either way, it works. Did you guys have a nice Labor Day? I can't believe that it's cool where you are. Now, Brandy, tell me what's the temperature? Like, what's cool to you? Your cool is probably like winter to me. I don't know. And cool, I, I don't know. It's very hard for my brain. Growing up here, it's very hard for my brain to process that it would be cool in September in August. My friend Rhonda lives in Michigan. She had some very cool August days, which is my brain just can't even com compute. Just cannot compute. Thanks, Karen. That's a very nice thing to say. All right, we're almost to the end. Here we go. All right, so now just take your scissors and snip it all off. You can use your trimmer too, whichever you prefer kind of satisfying to do this and then they all fall off. All right, and there's your piece. Now I can see that I didn't do it very straight over here. So maybe I do need to get my trimmer. Let's see, do I have it? I'm gonna trim a little bit. It's better to have too much and then be able to, to kind of trim off than to have too little and then not have enough. Now I'm using another stamp set for these little stars. We use this um, in the summer for some cute cards. This is the Little Dreamers stamp set and I'm gonna use this for our, sorry, let me get a piece of red paper, hold on. Come on, come on. And Bubble Bath, this is a three and three fourths by five inch piece of basic white and I'm gonna stamp, stamp off, stamp, you know, like you want the the pink to be in various shades. So stamp, stamp again. That way it'll be light in some areas and dark in some other areas. And then I'm just gonna take my seal and go across like that. Take our little stripes, lay them across and snip, snip. I made 30 of these cards and I had strips everywhere. <laughs> Little pieces everywhere. Now, I'm gonna take some black twine. If I can get it started now, come on. Uh-oh, I can see it poking out, there we go. All right, so one thing when you wrap something diagonally, it doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to. So I'm going to attach it on the back. I'm going to lay it like that. And then I'm going to take two dimensionals and just stick them on like that. And then come over here. I got too much twine, didn't I? And tie a bow. My husband is elk hunting in Colorado. He could hardly stand the anticipation, you guys. 
he went last year, did not get anything. So now, I mean, he's even more like dying about it. You know, like, oh, I don't get it, but whatever. Okay. Hopefully he gets something. So it'll hopefully scratch that itch a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. These boys, boys and their toys, they just get more pricier the older they get. Okay. Now let me show you something else from the new catalog. Melon Mambo Foil. I didn't know I needed Melon Mambo Foil in my life, but now I have it and I love it. There, It comes with Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. I use the stars from the Give It A Whirl dies. I think I use the Give It A Whirl dies every single week. They are very versatile. So I use those stars to cut these, to cut the foil. So now we have these cute little Melon Mambo shiny disco stars. We'll put a few of those like that. And then last but not least, I stuck my hand in the glue. Of course I did. We'll add a few of these up here. These, whoops, where'd it go? These sequins like that. And Last but not least, let's put it on a card base. I have some pieces of dimensional here waiting to be used, so let's do that. If I can get it off. Oh, come on, there we go. And there we go. Thanks, Laura. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. Yeah, I am, um, you know, I never know when to leave well enough alone. It needed stars, it needed sequins, it needed more stars. Maybe it even needs some Wink of Stella. You know, take your Wink of Stella and add some Wink of Stella to your roller skates. I mean, why not? All right, <laughs> there we go. What do you guys think? So cute. If you don't like the colors, again, you know, here's yesterday's card. This would be cute, done in these colors as well. You know, so play around with the colors and just find ones that you like. All righty, so let me move that and we'll get to the next one. Uh, I don't need that. I think I might. The next card is a birthday card, and we're going to use another new product. Well, actually, two new products from the holiday catalog. I need to stop calling it the holiday catalog. The September to December, many catalog. That's too many words. It's too many. Um, so this time we're going to use the cake. Right here, the little cake. And we're going to actually use the punch. I didn't use the punch on the last project, but we're going to use that here. Um, notice the background. That is um, one of these new Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. We used one last week. Here is another one. I was going to show you guys. I couldn't show you the inside the catalog last week it's against the rules but i wanted to point out when i saw these masks this is all i saw right here these beautiful flowers which i can't wait to try but then someone pointed out to me that there were these other masks awesome so i we used that one last week and we're using this one this week i love masking so when we have new masks i always get very happy the other new thing, actually, let's do our background first, and then we'll get to that. Um, I am going to use Berry Burst. Now, you guys are going to laugh when you see my mask. It's no longer white. This is what happens when you use alcohol ink, which is what our Stampin' Blends are. So, just know that they come beautifully in white, and if you use just our regular inks, they will stay beautifully white. But if you use your alcohol markers they're gonna get a little grungy okay so i'm gonna take my berry burst card base and use my post-it tape to tape it down to the grid paper and then i'm gonna take my mask and tape it on top i am using a small blending brush this time and berry burst ink and I always start over on the grid paper and then move over so that we don't get any of those hard edges or bumps that you get when you set your blending brush down right at the first. These are fall leaves. There's like acorns and stuff. 
but that didn't stop me from using it on a birthday card. I did, who says it has to be a fall, fall card? I don't think it has to be. All right, so do this until your arm gets tired. And then take your alcohol markers, your Stampin' Blends, and we're gonna flick some color onto it. So I'm gonna do Dark Berry Burst. And Dark Berry Burst isn't gonna show up a whole lot. It will a little bit. And then I'm gonna use Dark um, Blackberry Bliss. Same kind of deal. It doesn't really show up a lot, but it will add texture. Speckle. And then take Starry Sky. And that's one that you'll really be able to see. And I'm just taking my brush end and flicking ink into the holes on the mask. Really, you probably should wait till that ink is dry before you do that. It will probably not blend in as much. Yeah, you know, see it blended in quite a bit because the ink is still wet. Let's leave it and let it dry and I'm gonna add some more in a minute, okay? Okay, now here's the other product. We have these new circle dies. They're called Deckled Edge. And when I opened them, I was like, oh my gosh, look how huge they are. We have not had a circle die this big ever, I don't think. Look at that, look how big it is compared to the card. So these are awesome. And I'm gonna really play around and find some fun things to do with it. I'm thinking that looks like a taco shell, right? Fold it up, make a taco. I think it does. But today we're gonna to use a smaller one. And I think it's this one. Let me see, is that? Nope, that's too big. Let's see, it must be this one. Yep, okay. So it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth from the center. They are huge. I had no idea. So we're gonna stamp this little cute cake three times, twice next to each other um, with just about a half inch in between. Okay, and you wanna leave enough space. Um, I like, on my original, I felt like my cakes were a little bit too low, so I'm gonna make them go a little bit higher, like that. And like that. Okay, what's going on? My stamp looks crooked. Let's try that again. Oh, now my piece is dirty. Let's try it again, though. I think we can make this work. All right. Let me pull it down so I can look at it. Okay, ready? One. And two. Okay, that's better. And then we need one down here like this, in the corner, because we're gonna fussy cut that one. All right, so let's color them. And we are going to use Berry Burst Light. Cutting and folding the circle in half. Ooh, that's interesting, Karen. Yeah, I think these giant circle dies have a lot of potential other than just making a circle. I um, am looking forward to seeing what everybody comes up with. All right, so I know you guys can't really see from where you are very well because my camera isn't zoomed in. Um, as always, I recorded these to, for individual recordings and they are on YouTube. So if you need to go back and see what I'm doing, you can totally do that. It's zoomed in much better. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of detail, just coloring them in, it's pretty small. Um, one of the little flowers we're doing, Berry Burst also. Berry Burst Light. It's Berry Burst Dark, it's pretty dark. Berry Burst Dark and Blackberry Bliss Light, very close. So that just tells you how how dark it is. All right now I'm gonna take dark mm, bubble bath. I don't know why I have flirty flamingo over here. It's throwing me off. And we'll do the larger flower. So next week's Facebook Friday, I have planned to do the other set that's there in the back of the catalog, and I can't remember what it's called. The one with the water bottles, the can the um, thermoses. What is that one called? Somebody tell me, I cannot remember. I have one card made and that's it. If you, again, if you have teenagers, 
and maybe maybe not just teenagers, but they carry around these water bottles now that I call tanks. They're like gigantic metal thermos type. I mean, they're huge. And if it drops on the floor, you think you're under attack. It's like super loud and heavy and they dent. So when I saw that set, I was like, oh, this is so perfect for the teenagers. So of course I got warmest heart. Thank you. That's kind of a weird name, right? Yeah, the Stanley Brandy. We don't have the Stanley. They have the, um, I can never remember what it's called. Um, hold on. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. I always just call it the tank. Come on, somebody tell me, what is it? The metal water bottles that all the kids, not, it doesn't have a handle, comes in different sizes. Um, I can't think, it's very expensive, which is ridiculous. It keeps things cold forever. Hydro Flask, Lisa, I knew you would know. Hydro Flask. I always wanna call it something with a C, and I don't know why. Um, Hydro Flask. You could like bury it and it will be there in a million years. That's how, I mean, it is like thick and big and heavy. And my middle daughter cannot go anywhere without it. It's like we tease her, it's her emotional support water bottle. <laughs> she has to always have it. I mean, they're all like that, but she's the worst. Okay, we are gonna just cut this one out with our paper snips. Remember, just stay on the outside, leave a little white cloud around your image. I am taking my middle daughter to a science thing tonight, A um, the local school here, University of Texas at San Antonio, is having a telescope night. That's what I'm trying to think of, telescope. They're having some lectures about amateur um, astronomy. She's very, very into astronomy. And so that's what we're doing. That's how we're spending our Friday night. <laughs> Me, I'd rather be watching a movie laying in my bed, but I'm gonna go with her because you know, you gotta do these things sometimes. I will let you know what I learned about being a amateur um, astronomer. All right, so put this one right in the middle and I kind of have it raised just a little bit. Um, now I have cut out a piece of our something eclectic designer series paper. Did I call it the right thing? I usually call it the wrong thing. This is from the annual catalog. So I used the stylus shape banner to cut that out. We are going to, did I lose it? Nope, here it is. We are going to stamp the happy birthday in, did I take my embossing things away? Nope, here they are. I just filmed another video for Monday with this set, so you guys will see it, but I was using the embossing stuff. I did take my embossing buddy away, so let's hope for the best. Anita, you have a metal container too. <laughs> they are very well hydrated. Whenever the doctor or whoever asks, you know, like, are you drinking a lot of water? We always laugh, like, oh yes, they are drinking a ton of water, which is good. I cannot say the same for myself. Yuri's Night Star Party. What is that, Lisa? Hydro, you take yours too, Pamela. It's your emotional support water bottle. <laughs> I take my emotional support Diet Coke with me everywhere. I, I wish it was water, but it's usually a Diet Coke. Okay, gold embossing powder will do it for us this time. Now, let's grab that punch. And... Um... You know, Karen, I, I am a weather nerd. Yes, for sure. And since we've moved out here, it's much darker. And we have spent a lot of time in the backyard looking at the stars. We have seen Starlink many times out here. And in our other house, we could never see Starlink. Do you guys know what Starlink is? Um, Starlink is Elon Musk's internet satellites. He's launching all these satellites into space to bring um, internet to the world. Basically, you, you know, you're on the top of a mountain, you'll have internet through Starlink. 
So they're in these long chains. And, and if you don't know what they are, you're going to think that you're being invaded by aliens because there's a long string, of, duh, 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 you know, like blinking and they just move across the sky. There is an app called Starlink app where you can, it'll tell you where you live, what time to go outside and look. And we love doing that. So yes, I am just being lazy on a Friday night. You know, Friday night's the night I don't want to do anything and I don't want to go anywhere. But I think it'll be fun. And she asked me to go with her, which is not normally what happens, you know, when you got a teenager. So, of course, I said yes. Of course. Is that crooked? I can't tell. Um, this is a piece of the glorious Gingham Designer Series paper. And we're going to put that right there in the middle. Isn't this cute? Now again, change the colors. If you don't like the pinks, but you guys know I'm always going for the pinks. You can use um, any colors you want for this. The Glorious Gingham has lots of different colors. And then of course you could substitute other papers too. All right, so we'll put our little curved sentiment there. And last but not least, Annual eclipse coming in October. Yes, I did know that one in October and then again in April. When's the big one? Like the total solar eclipse, I believe, is in April. And we are right in the path down here. So it's going right across the United States. Many of you are probably in the path. It's going to be crazy. Um, this is the Simply Elegant trim. Silver and gold. I was thinking on that previous card we made... Oh no, it was the other card that I'm posting on Monday that this trim in silver would be good on that as well. Okay, there you go. What do you guys think? Those deckled edges or those deckled edge circles, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to need them, especially now that you know you can make a taco. Because <laughs> who doesn't need a taco die? We asked for taco dies, didn't we? We just didn't get the right ones. Okay, let me get a drink and we'll do our last project. Total Eclipse is April 8th. Hey, Mom. Yes, that's going to be a big deal, April 8th. Do you guys remember we had an eclipse years ago? Ellie, my oldest, was, I think she was a freshman in high school, maybe a sophomore, and we had an eclipse during the day. It wasn't a total eclipse, but we had gotten glasses. I had ordered special, the special glasses you have to get, and I kept them all this time so that we would have them for the next eclipse okay last card i told you we were going to case that little card in the catalog and so i didn't like the colors because you know i like bright bold colors so i am using some different colors but for the most part my card is the same i'm going to show you how to make this little track for your little bug your little convertible bug all right okay it's actually easier than you think we're going to use pennies on it to make um to hold it in the track we have made these before using washers which will work but this track is a little bit wider um than the washers that i have so pennies actually work pretty well okay so let's stamp our little i mean isn't that a slug bug that looks like a slug bug why do i have two of these open look at my hands that's what happens when you do masking um little slug bug we're gonna do it in red and you kept yours too Teresa um, I'm pretty impressed with myself for keeping them all through the move I know exactly where they are and uh, you know they're they're pretty flimsy and cheapy but they work that was fun I remember it vividly in the middle of the day standing outside with my girls Ellie was wearing her tennis uniform she had a tennis match that afternoon and I remember that the leaves um, looked really weird. Like the, sh the shade under the trees changed very into a very weird, a very weird look because of the eclipse. Anyhow, I am using real red light and I'm working in small sections here. Um, so that I can do my blending because I'm adding in some shadow. Be real careful going around the lights. And then take your dark 
and go behind that wheel well. Remember that if you really want to see how I'm coloring this to go watch my individual recording of this project, you'll be able to see it much better. All right, so we've added that dark and I'm gonna take my light again and just kind of blend it all up. And then make the fenders. Is that what this is called? These pieces that go on the outside of the tire? Fender, we're gonna do that in light real red. We want them to be a little bit lighter than the rest. So just one little coat. All right. Now I did have trouble deciding on what to color these pieces. That's the seat. So I went ahead and just did it red and I'm leaving the convertible part and the windshield, I'm just leaving them white. But we are gonna take smoky slate light and color in. Actually, this is dark. Okay, we'll use dark. Our bumpers. And then we have a light and it has like a little edge around it. Um, I'm also using smoky slate on the hubcap part of the tire. Be careful. I, I colored over the center part last time and I didn't mean to do that. Um, Daffodil Delight for the lights. And last but not least, basic black light for the tires. And I always warn, give a warning with basic black stamp and blend because it is so dark. Just be very careful. Kind of just tap that color in as you go around. It's potent. It's very intense. All right. Again, fussy cutting. I know we did three projects today with fussy cutting. I apologize to my fussy cutter, fussy cutting haters. You know it was coming. If it doesn't have dyes, you know I'm gonna fussy cut. It's worth it. All right, so just go around, leave a little edge all the way around like that. And we will get in the nooks and crannies right here. Go around the mirror, go around the seat. Now you're gonna need four pennies for this. Okay, so go dig in your couch. I actually had a hard time finding some pennies, which is so weird, because they're when you don't need them, they're everywhere. Um, what did I do with them? They were here, hopefully still right here, okay. So you, again, you can use washers if you have the right size. I did not have the right size washers, so we are using pennies. Um, I had a sheet of dimensionals. They are now lost, and I need them to, hmm. Am I just looking at them? Are they on the other tray? Hold on, hold on, let me look. Well, yeah, here's some. Well, I think I can piece enough dimensionals together through these two. All right, so take your dimensional and put it right here in the center of your car. I was gonna just do one dimensional in the middle, but the penny would show. It's too big, you know, for the car. Also, get a toothpick. Hopefully, I haven't lost my toothpick that I had here yesterday. Here it is. And we're going to sandwich this toothpick in with this dimensional right here. This is going to, it's going to have a little sign. All right, so put that, sandwich that like that. And then take another penny and put it right there. All right, oops, I didn't put this one down. Actually... You know what, let's do that different. I don't like the way that's sticking up like that. Hold on. Okay, let's try this, let me think. Let me think about this, how did I do it? I'm pretty sure I sandwiched that in there, but whatever, we'll do it right here. Okay, so we're gonna take two other dimensionals and put them right here. Now I'm not gonna take the backings off yet because we have, we've got to make our little track. Um. You're gonna need two pieces of crumb cake cardstock <clears throat> that are two by five and a half. And on the right side, 
We're gonna start on the right side first and we're gonna make the little smile like that, All right? And then turn it and do the same thing. Try to match up as best you can right here on the edge. I never get it right, it's never perfect. And I usually have a little bump there. Wow, I actually did pretty good this time, but you can just take your scissors and snip that off to make it a nice, smooth little track, okay? All right, so then you're gonna take your track and put your no don't do that you know what let's do it this way let's do it this way i'm gonna put the pennies down i'm doing it a totally different way than i did yesterday and now of course it's not working as well all right now nope, i have to do it this way I gotta stick that right there and then take your penny and sandwich it on the other side of the track Okay, and then get this one and sandwich it as well. And then the, the pennies, hopefully you guys can see, the pennies, there's one on the front and there's one on the back and they're separated by a dimensional that allows it to slide. Does that make sense, you guys? Yeah? Okay, so now we've got that. We are going to put some dimensionals and I think I will just use these little strips we'll put one right there I'm missing the comments yeah you Linda you remember the leaves too it was very weird right the zoo animals went nuts I hadn't heard that but that makes total sense that makes total sense you can't get excited about an eclipse right now Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. Yeah, that would be very hard. That would be hard. It seemed like such a long time ago, such a t long time away. I remember thinking then like, oh gosh, I don't know, it was like five or six years, right? Thinking, well, that's an eternity. And here we are. Suddenly, we're here. All right, so now I'm gonna lay this down on there, on there so that we put that behind there so that we have that little crumb cake um, layer behind it, okay? Let me show you the original card I made and it's messed up. <laughs> See how I left it blue? I didn't like that. And my sentiments didn't make sense. I put, thanks a million, make today yours. Those two sentiments do not go together. And again, I forgot to stamp the sentiment. Well, we'll try it. The one I want to go with it says, you're great. Do you guys think I can do it? There's a dimensional there. Mm, do I try it? Maybe I should. No. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. All right, come on. Stamp. I did it. Awesome. Try to remember to do that before you put your dimensionals on. Okay, so now for the other sentiment, we're going to stamp that in real red on our piece of basic white. And we will use our punch. like that all right and we're gonna put that on in a minute oh thanks thanks mom i you know i i always go towards the bright bold colors okay we need to add some clouds i couldn't tell what embossing folder they used on the sample and i could have looked it up but instead i just went to my drawer and found an embossing folder i thought would work best and it's the, I think I, what's it called? I, I think I called it brush stroke, but I think it's something else. Let me see. I wrote it on the list. Painted texture embossing folder. I was way off. Painted texture. But you know what? Any embossing folder will work. Um, do I have the embossing folder? Yeah, here it is. Um, so just look through, you know, this one is kind of cool because it gives that look of kind of, you know, the, the texture of the swat. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you guys know. Just look through your embossing folder. <laughs> See what you got. See what you got. All right, when you are using this embossing folder, make sure you take all the plates off. Just use plate one and plate four. You don't need the clear plates or that skinny white one. And then there we go. We've got our clouds with a little bit of texture okay and then 
We'll put these, let's see. You need to be pretty generous with your adhesive because those pennies are gonna make your card pretty heavy. So this will probably be a good time to use your stamp and seal plus if you have that. All right, so then we will just put our clouds on. I'm gonna have them kind of in different directions. Let's have this one going this way and then we'll have this one up here like that. And then we're going to snip them off. Snip, snip. Snip, oh, snip. Did I just cut something off? No, okay. Last but not least, let's get our sentiment. And, and I noticed in the sample in the catalog, they made it a banner. So flag the end. And then I'm gonna use a glue dot to put this on here. And if it sticks, I noticed my other one was sticking a little bit. You can always put a little scrap of white paper behind it so that it's not sticky back there, okay? And then we just add a little twine bow and we're done. You can change this if you wanna maybe give it to a child and put happy birthday. You could change the sentiment. And a glue dot. And right there, we are done. How cute. All right, so now you know how to make that card in the catalog. And if you want to use the colors they used, go right ahead. I just changed them up a little bit because I like to use my brights and I try to have coordinating colors on my Facebook Friday projects. Doesn't always happen, but I was using bold colors on the other ones, so I wanted to stick with bold colors. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think that's a pretty easy um, slider card. I think it is. That, that um, toothpick may need some hot glue, I don't know. Play around, see, see what you think. Okay, so let's look what we made. Remember, if you would like these as a little kit, a project kit, we call them make and takes, I will send it to you for free with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. Please use this host code. Um, I also have this card yesterday, so you can hop back one post and see that one. And then this is the one I will have on Monday, and there will be a video with this one using the disco ball. I'm gonna show you how to make that in a video. And now you have five curved occasions, ideas to inspire you. All right, hi Kimberly. Thanks you guys for joining me today. Hi June. I didn't see all of you on here. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, remember if you ordered BOGO stuff from me and you've never heard from me, that's because my email must not have gone through, so make sure you reach out to me. I really want to give you your stuff for free, you guys, so make sure you reach out to me if you didn't hear from me, okay? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Get some rest. I will try to stay cool, Brandy. Hopefully, you won't be too cold, <laughs> and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys.